Boston Medical Products proudly manufactures many of the finest medical devices available on the market today for use in ENT surgery and airway management. Boston Medical Products was founded in 1980 by three otolaryngologists. They wanted to provide the resources and professional skills necessary to make available to physicians throughout the world a complete line of specialty products. Working closely with surgeons, other healthcare providers, and patients themselves, Boston Medical Products has grown and evolved into an internationally respected medical device company. We are dedicated to providing the finest quality, most advanced products, combining safety, effectiveness, and unsurpassed patient comfort for use in otology, rhinology, laryngology, and airway management. Boston Medical Products takes great pride in the manufacturing and quality assurance of each and every product we sell. All of our medical devices are constructed using the highest quality medical grade materials and manufactured under strict quality control procedures. Our knowledgeable and friendly customer service professionals answer technical questions and facilitate orders daily. Most products are shipped the same day they are ordered and delivered according to your specific needs. At Boston Medical Products, we are constantly improving our existing products and developing new devices. Our quest for innovations to improve surgical procedures or enhance patient comfort never ends. We value your input and welcome inquiries regarding new innovations and custom products. Please call us toll free at 800-433-BMPI. Outside the continental U.S. at 508-898-9300 or visit our website at www.bossmed.com. The patented Montgomery Safety Tube is the finest tracheal prosthesis available today, providing the surgeon the ultimate in patient safety, patient comfort, size selection, and freedom for customization. The Montgomery trademark guarantees that all safety tubes are constructed using the highest quality medical grade silicone and manufactured under complete FDA guidelines and strict quality control procedures. The Montgomery safety tube should be used in cases with acute tracheal injuries, a need to support a reconstituted trachea, a need to support a reconstructed trachea, segmental resection and anastomosis, a need to support intrathoracic tracheal stenosis. Tracheal stenosis when the cervical or thoracic trachea cannot be repaired and a cervical trachea that cannot be reconstructed. Made of flexible medical grade silicone, the safety tube is of sufficient density and thickness to support a reconstituted or reconstructed trachea and yet soft enough to preclude injury to the lining or supporting structures of the trachea or subglottic region. The ends of the intraluminal portion are tapered to help prevent injury due to asynchronous motion between the ends of the tube and the tracheal mucosa. Mucus and crust do not readily adhere to the very smooth inner surface. The tube is widened by the curvature at the junction of the intraluminal and extraluminal portions. This design adds support to the anterior tracheal wall at the tracheotomy site and facilitates suctioning. The safety tube is designed to maintain an adequate airway as well as to provide support in the stenotic trachea which has been reconstituted or reconstructed. Our exclusive design of ridges and grooves along the extraluminal limb of the safety tube allows a ring washer to be attached, significantly reducing the possibility of accidental posterior displacement. All Montgomery safety tubes are supplied as a set which includes two ring washers and a plug.
you will note that there are two longitudinal grooves on the superior and inferior aspects of the extraluminal portion of the safety tube. These grooves distinguish the safety tube from the silicone tracheal cannulas, which have only one groove on their inferior aspect. The intraluminal portion of the safety tube, which is to be directed inferiorly, is crimped and grasped with a hemostat. This portion of the safety tube is inserted by way of the tracheotomy. As soon as it is intraluminal, the hemostat is released and applied to the opposite intraluminal portion. Once the intraluminal portion is inside the trachea, the safety tube is grasped and pulled anteriorly. In so doing, the intraluminal portions snap into place. To prevent loss of air or anesthesia through the upper intraluminal portion of the safety tube, a closed system can be created. The three-way stopcock is attached to a Fogarty-type catheter and then to the syringe. The stopcock is positioned so that the air will pass from the syringe to the balloon at the end of the catheter. It is then adjusted so that air will remain inside the balloon when the syringe is released. The catheter is introduced into the upper intraluminal limb of the safety tube and inflated. The endotracheal tube is inserted into the extraluminal portion of the safety tube and connected to anesthesia tubing, which is passed off to the anesthesiologist, who will now have a closed system with a distal trachea and lungs. The balloon is tested prior to its insertion into the safety tube. The catheter is inserted into the upper intraluminal portion. The balloon is inflated and the stopcock closed. An endotracheal tube is inserted into the extraluminal portion of the safety tube and a closed system is achieved. Suctioning of the safety tube is quite simple. The extraluminal portion of the safety tube is tilted inferiorly or superiorly in order to direct the catheter. Suctioning is being accomplished following insertion of the safety tube first in a superior direction and then inferiorly. It is not necessary to insert the catheter beyond the end of the intraluminal portion of the safety tube, for this will serve only to irritate the mucous membrane and initiate a cough reflex. As the safety tube is pulled from the trachea, the upper and lower intraluminal limbs buckle towards each other. It instantly springs back to its original shape. The ring washer is removed from the external limb of the safety tube. A finger is placed above and below the extraluminal limb of the safety tube, and firm pressure is exerted posteriorly. The external limb is pulled anteriorly. An endotracheal tube is inserted as the patient recovers from general anesthesia. The Montgomery safety tube is available in four styles, pediatric, standard, thoracic, and extra long. The original 4200 series standard safety tubes have been producing successful results in tracheal repair for many years. All Montgomery safety tubes are constructed of flexible medical grade silicone designed to provide comfort for the patient. The standard safety tubes are available in sizes from 10 millimeters to 15 millimeters outside diameter. The 3200 series pediatric safety tubes feature an angled extraluminal limb to facilitate airway management. The intraluminal limbs can be shortened if necessary. 
The pediatric safety tubes are available in sizes 6, 7, 8, and 9 millimeters. The 5200 series thoracic safety tube has been designed to provide all the advantages of a safety tube with an extra long limb for thoracic applications. As a life-preserving device, it can be kept in place for many years while stenting thoracic tracheal stenoses, which cannot be repaired surgically. The thoracic safety tube is available in sizes 10 through 15 millimeters. The 6200 series extra-long safety tubes are designed to provide the surgeon total freedom to customize the intraluminal limbs to any desired length, either at our facility or by using the CK1000 customizing kit. The extra-long safety tubes offer solutions for distal stenoses and other problem cases while providing all the advantages of the safety tube features. In addition, two models of the Montgomery speaking valve are easily attached to allow vocalization without the need for finger occlusion. The Montgomery speaking valves are designed to allow tracheotomy patients to vocalize without the need for finger occlusion. All valves provide one-way airflow using a thin silicone hinged diaphragm, which opens on inspiration and closes on expiration. All Montgomery speaking valves are noiseless, easily cleaned, durable, and offer a unique cough release feature, eliminating valve blowout following a forceful cough or excessive airway pressure. Boston Medical Products will customize your safety tube before shipment, if specific dimensions are known prior to surgery. When customizing is required at the time of surgery, we recommend using the new CK1000 customizing kit. To maintain optimum tube performance after customizing the intraluminal length of any safety tube, it is very important to bevel the ends. The CK1000 customizing kit can be used to customize any safety tube. Included in the kit are all the tools necessary to shorten and taper custom intraluminal limbs, the procedure so critical for successful tube performance. The CK1000 customizing kit contains the following items. A cordless grinding tool with keyless chuck. A recharging unit for the grinding tool. A tube cutter. Two types of grinding stones, one with a ball end and the other with a cone end. A six-inch ruler for measuring the end or ends to be cut. A red marker, a dressing stone used for cleaning the grinding stones, and a convenient carrying case, which also serves as a recharging housing. First, measure one or both ends of the tube to be customized. Use the red marker to indicate where the tube is to be cut. The tube cutter has a spring action and is simply pressed to open. While holding the cutter open in one hand, position the marked end of the tube to be cut over the center of the cutter. Make sure the tube itself is resting in the V groove of the cutter. The unique cutter blade cuts from the middle outward to ensure a straight cut. Gently squeeze the cutter closed while keeping the tube aligned in a straight position. While holding the cutter closed, pull the tube away from the cutter. This will leave a straight rough cut of the end. Select one of the grinding stones and insert into the grinding tool using the keyless chuck. The grinding tool has two speeds, low and high. We recommend using the higher speed to smooth the ends of the tube. Apply the grinding tool to the rough cut end or ends and work around the edge to smooth and bevel the end. The tube should be cleaned of any particulate matter and sterilized before use. We recommend using the dressing stone included in the kit to clean the grinding stones of any silicone buildup. The Montgomery Safety Tube, the tube of choice for patient safety, patient comfort, size selection, and freedom to customize. Versatility at your fingertips. For more information about this product, please contact Boston Medical Products at 1-800-433-BMPI outside the continental U.S. at 508-898-9300 or visit our website at www.bossmed.com.